After Alibaba's stellar listing in the United States, one stock that we are talking about today is homegrown just dial. Stock has rallied. Take a look at that. Over 100%, nearly 110%. In, in the last one year, 17% in the last three months. What's more, 48% of analysts on the street, on the Bloomberg, have a buy rating on the stock or continue to have a buy rating on the stock. So what's driving the rally? What are the company's plans? Um, I have Priya said standing by to give us a sense of what's going on with this company. Priya. Well, one company that's been reinventing itself over the last one year is Just Dial. And in fact, its aggression can be demonstrated with the kind of services that it's offering. One of it is, of course, Search Plus. It's online marketplace that it's introduced over the last one year. Of course, you can order uh, services on this. You can order your food and groceries through the Search Plus service. Now, the next one that we will uh, look at is scheduling services. Now, uh, you can schedule a doctor's appointment or even you can even book a table at a restaurant through uh, Just Dial service. Now, also ticketing and travel is another element that they have introduced as a part of Search Plus where you can book your tickets via bus or via train on the Just Dial website. Also buying online, now remember that e-commerce is the biggest boom that's coming up in the marketplace and of course buying online is another thing that uh, Just Dial has introduced. Remember that Just Dial was only a search platform but now it's slowly becoming into a search and transact platform. Now about 20 services have been launched on Just Dial and 15 of these services are available on its mobile platform and in fact mobile is also another thing that just that is seeing as a big push going forward but you know going ahead it has typed out tied out with several establishments there are several SMEs and retailers who are uh, available on its platform and are transacting services for the same but you know looking forward at going global it has in fact uh, launched its UK Middle East Hong Kong Malaysia Singapore these are the international operations that it's planning to beef up going forward but in India as well there are several things that uh, Just Dial is doing it has it is expanding its presence in tier 2 and tier 3 cities it's going to uh, go into Ludhiana, Jalandhar, Nagpur the several cities that it is tapping into but of course there are some key challenges associated with it uh, larger e-commerce companies have the pricing power since they buy in bulk so Just Dial needs to tie up with more number of retailers to increase the bargaining power also local retailers have an unorganized supply chain so the last mile delivery becomes a concern. So these are a few challenges that Just Dial will face. Now let's oh, wait and watch what the management plans going ahead. All right, let's pose all these questions to Ram Kumar Krishnamachari of Just Dial. He joins us live. Ram Kumar, thanks so much for joining us on Bloomberg. Uh, let me begin by asking you about your own outlook for growth. You know, the stock has has had a stellar run. Uh, I understand your previous quarters top line growth is very quite healthy as well. What's driving business? You're transitioning from a search company to a transaction company as well. Correct. So um, what's really driving our growth has been the entire ecosystem, uh, you know, ecosystem change which is happening in India today. Mm -hmm. now, if you notice, uh, more and more consumers are getting it, um, on the internet. The smartphones have become affordable and uh, data plans have become cheaper. Mm -hmm. So the businesses, the, especially the small businesses, are realizing the importance of having an internet presence. Mm -hmm. And uh, as a platform, we are one of the popular destination from a consumer standpoint for whatever they need in terms of uh, products and service. Mm -hmm. So it is imperative uh, uh, that businesses, especially small businesses, have an online presence and uh, in a platform like Just mm -hmm. So it is our endeavor to sort of communicate and create awareness among the small business community, which, we, which is what we have been doing over the past Mm. Uh, you know, six months to a year, mm. uh, the, you know, uh, sort of uh, deepen our penetration, uh, increase our uh, feet on street and sales force, create that awareness, make them aware uh, of a pl platform like Just Dial and have their presence on our platform so that they can be discovered and now they can also be transacted with the Search Plus. So growth has been uh, great so far. I mean, uh, we've had uh, good growth in the uh, uh, first quarter and uh, uh, trends and signs are looking good for Q2 as well. Right. And we believe that I think as a potential, we'll just uh, scratch the surface. Right. You know, uh, Ramkumar, I, I use Just Dial, you know, to call, for, to call for restaurant numbers, for instance. But you're moving towards, to, in a space where, I mean, let, let me look at stuff like travel, ticketing, um, you know, buying groceries. I mean, aren't there already players in this space who are, you know, niche specialists? Uh, aren't, you, aren't you getting into space where the competition is quite high? Is there money to be made? 
Sure. Uh, please uh, download my app. You will not call again. So, uh, <laughs> uh, you know, uh, 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 as far as, uh, see, we are, we are a very user-focused company. I mean, uh, we focus only on our users. You know, uh, we are not worried who is there, who is not there. We believe that user comes to, today user comes to me for all of these things to search. He comes to me searching for a nearest gosser or a, looking for a travel agent or uh, looking for a flower, a florist, etc. Mm. So my, I'm only, what I'm doing is extending that uh, relationship, deepening that and taking it to the next logical step that he already does post searching on my platform mm. to enable him to perform that transaction. Mm. So uh, if you look at uh, ticket booking, it is a commoditized, uh, this thing. So mm. to book a ticket, all you just go to a single platform, the benefits of booking some of these commoditized uh, transaction on a single platform is immense hmm. be it uh, buying a grocery scheduling a doctor's appointment or buying a plane ticket uh, reserving a hotel etc we are making life easier to the consumer uh, having his all his personal details stored in one place hmm. he will be able all you have to do, do is download just one app sure. today for cab you have four different apps in mumbai itself each of them peddling their own app to download and book uh, book a cab. Right. So from a consumer standpoint, there is immense value mm. for doing many of these routine things on a single platform. And that's our focus. So uh, we believe that uh, the consumers are going to discover mm. that the value proposition of doing many of these things right. is immense. In the process, they are going to save time and money. Right. Uh, let, me ask, let me ask you this, Ram Kumar. You know, I understand that you're expanding internationally. What's the game plan there? What, you know, what's, what, what, would you, what do you hope to achieve by expanding services in, in US or Canada or, or places like that? Okay, it's very simple. I mean, many of the markets, including developed markets, there isn't a just time. Mm. You know, you don't have a single place where you can find things and also do transact on that. I mean, it's, it's, uh, in a developed market, there are many verticals which have developed because they evolved earlier. But then in emerging market, it's completely pristine. There is no just dial, you know, there's no there's a horizontal play there in terms of searching, finding things. So hence, um, a potential for j launching a just dial in this market is just, uh, you know, all you have to do is get the data and we have the platform ready. And hence, we are launching in many of these uh, countries. Uh, the idea is uh, to have the users use our services in these um, countries mm. and uh, make sure that once our services are popular in these countries and then think of monetization. Sure. We want to make sure just launch the service and it's not going to involve a high deal of uh, high amount of investment uh, just launching these services in our uh, and uh, in these countries and it will be purely be an internet platform. Mm. So it will be a mobile and PC uh, driven platform. Sure. Uh, Ramakumar, you know, I, I'm curious to know your, your own entry into the tier two, tier three market. Uh, how much of access uh, is, is happening on the mobile? And, you know, the, you, you spoke about the rise of smartphones and lower cost of bandwidth and so on. How much is, is all of this happening on the mobile? Look, um, definitely uh, things are changing. And... Um, uh, if you look at a uh, lot of these e-commerce companies, uh, a lot of the orders which are coming to these companies are coming from non-50 cities, top 50 cities. That's mm. the, uh, you know, kind of, um, uh, you know, sort of uh, you, uh, your consumer uh, engagement that is uh, happening in the tier two, tier three cities mm. as far as the online uh, transactions are concerned. So you'll be surprised that a lot of um, our uh, our taxi, uh, traffic has grown uh, uh, leaps and bounds in the tier two, tier three cities uh, on the uh, internet platform. Now, uh, how much of it is coming from mobile? It is very difficult for me to quantify that. Uh, but definitely, the usage is going uh, growing in these tier two, tier three cities, and it's only a question of us sensitizing the vendors to uh, uh, create an online platform that, uh, 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 to create uh, create awareness and have them uh, uh, on our platform so that they can be discovered and transacted. So our belief is that today there's a lot of um, uh, pent up demand for many of the uh, uh, consumer goods in uh, tier two, tier two cities, but then it's a question of availability. We believe that we can bridge that gap in terms of uh, putting the seller across to the right, uh, putting the buyer across to the right seller mm. in these cities. So um, 
uh, I, I, I believe that it's inevitable that uh, uh, the uh, uh, more than uh, uh, 40 million uh, small medium businesses uh, will uh, need to have an online presence and they need to have an uh, uh, you know uh, pie of the online transaction so rather than competing with these small businesses enable them and that's where the game is and that's where the whole uh, value proposition is so we have uh, we are we believe in the enabling game rather than being competing with them sure uh, i have i have one final question uh, do you see you know we, we we've seen the announcement of Amazon and Flipkart making, you know, making billions of dollars of investment. Do you see them as competition? Look, uh, definitely in a space uh, of e-commerce, uh, I think it's just chartered. The uh, market is huge. There will be play for different um, business models uh, to be there. As I mentioned, 98-99% uh, of the commerce happens offline. 96% of the businesses don't have a website in India. We believe uh, the delivery ecosystem or the fulfillment ecosystem already exists in India. We just have to leverage that. We are putting it a differentiated marketplace game here where the consumers will see a value in terms of price discovery from offline stores real time. The vendors will see value proposition because they have a level playing field so that they can attract the same customers, uh, you know, online customers. And uh, we get a small pie of the aggregated transaction that, that happens. So our focus is on the 98, 99% offline transaction, offline commerce that happens in India and enable that to have an online presence and uh, get a small pie out of it. Do you see yourself, lastly, uh, Ram Kumar, I know I'm running out of time, but do you see yourself uh, not calling yourself just dial because you're not about dialing anymore, isn't it? It's about brand. I mean, we get this question uh, frequently. Uh, you're, you're, you're not online, and in fact, the dial itself is an outdated. You don't dial anymore. So sure, you just exactly. That's exactly punch in the number. Yeah. So, <laughs> so I, I, I think our brand is an 18-year-old brand, and it's something of a serious thought we have to give if you have to change it. But as of now, we are quite happy with it.